so I've just had my lung test. Oh my god. I just had to take my Simbacort puffer, which I'll show you probably in the next section. I think a lot of asthmatics would know what Simbacort is, just like a steroid puffer. Um, I was feeling sick this morning because I wasn't able to have it, but the technician said that I actually did quite well, so it's good to know. Um, still kind of a little bit out of breath. I'm just walking home and um, yeah, I'll probably update you guys this afternoon and tomorrow once I guess I feel a little bit better. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so it's been about oh, half an hour since I've had this lung test. I thought I would explain what actually happens um, if you are um, going for one. It's not the best feeling, but it's honestly, it's not that bad. Um, so basically I was told before I went there not to take any um, of my puffer med or asthma medication, which is just basically a puffer and I'll show you actually, I'll go get it and show you which one I'm taking at the moment. Um, Cause I was taking one and it's kind of stopped working after about 10 years of me being on it. Um, so this is the Simbacort 412, so it just looks like that. And um, if I can try and open it up with one hand, I will. So it just looks like that, and you obviously put your mouth on that and puff it. And I need to get a new one of those. They're about, I think, 40, $40 from Chemist Warehouse. If you go to any other chemist, it could be a little bit more. But basically, yeah, you're told not to take any preventative medication, um, which was a little bit annoying for me because I was feeling sick and I almost vomited before I went to um, get this test done. Um, I had like a cup of tea and I had breakfast and stuff before I came which kind of helped but I had to lie down for about five ten minutes before I went like oh, how am I going to survive this anyway I survived so basically um the technician will ask you a bunch of questions he didn't really ask me that many um and he asked me if I was a smoker and I said no um and then I had to do a series of these lung tests so you put like your mouth up against this mouthpiece and you have to like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, etc., etc. Um, and then he gives you this like Ventolin puffer, which I've never had before. It's just one like you can get over the counter. Um, and I think that helped a little bit, but um, not overly. And then yeah, so you just do a series of these breathing tests and breathing tests and breathing stuff, and you have to hold your breath and. It's really hard when you haven't had your asthma medication and you're like trying to breathe. It's like, oh my God. But yeah, it was, it, honestly, it wasn't too bad. And then um, as soon as I got out of the uh, doctor's surgery, I um, took my puffer anyway and sort of helped. So, but um, yeah, if you are a little bit scared um, about having to do a lung test or your doctor sort of asked you to do one, don't freak out and all that. Of course, I wasn't freaking out and all that. Um, I'm a little bit tired because I didn't really sleep, but I wasn't worried overall. I just, yeah, I was just feeling really, really sick this morning, but I'm okay now. And yeah, so, so don't stress, don't worry, it's all okay. Um, and yeah, I think, I think I was in there for about, uh, 45 minutes or something like that because I had to do like a series of tests without the Ventolin and with the Ventolin if that makes sense so um and they didn't really give you any results the technicians can't but he said oh overall I think you've done okay but I, I didn't ask um so but I'm seeing the specialist on Monday and I will I guess update you guys I'm just sort of standing around in the kitchen at my <laughs> walking around the house um, yeah, so once I've seen a specialist, I will update you guys and let you know what, um, the test reveals and I guess what sort of asthma management plan 
he'll put me on or whatever because the aspen puffer that i just showed you my general gp wasn't happy with me being on that or she didn't really want to give me a script for it um it must be something in it that can destroy your lungs or something i don't know she didn't really give me an explanation so um but yeah that's basically all that's happened and yeah i feel fine like you know I'm, i guess i'm glad i've had it done and i just see what i guess i just see what the specialist has to say and yeah take from there so i will be in touch probably um on monday sometime so see you guys then bye hey guys so i saw the specialist excuse me <clears throat> i saw the specialist um this morning i'm just sort of doing a few things at once all right um and basically he asked me a bunch of questions and he asked if i had any pets and stuff like that because obviously pets are the main reason as to why i've got asthma and all these allergies and stuff like that so i just gotta my nose is sort of dribbling a bit um and basically yeah i was in there for like pretty much an hour and i went how how much is this gonna freaking cost me you have no idea how much i've spent over the last 14 years or 12 years going to doctors specialists allergists um or because of bloody animals <laughs> i'm allergic to um it's just it sucks it really does so um basically he wants me to go get some other tests done so i'm gonna do one lot this week and one lot next week i don't know if i'll be putting this video up in december uh i might have to wait until january i think but basically yeah, i've got to go get more tests done i'm not going to go into what the tests are um that's my business and yeah then i have to go back and see him in the new year so while i was there i booked another appointment but i couldn't see him till like early february mid mid february something like that um and yeah it all seemed well but it looks like i'll probably never be able to have uh, a cat or any type of animal again which again sucks uh i did this video earlier and i just sort of teared up in a little bit but um that's that's kind of the reason why i teared up because maddie will probably be the last cat i ever have unless some scientist or some specialist can come up with um a pill or some sort of vaccine um that can you know i guess prevent us from getting allergies and asthma and stuff like that but unfortunately um i don't think i'll be able to work with animals again um unless someone develops something like this so if you're out there can you please develop something because so many people are allergic to cats and you know it's it's heartbreaking especially if you love cats and you love dogs like i do uh horses i don't particularly care about i don't hate them or like that but i've never really had much to do with them so it's more the dog and cat thing um it sucks it just looks like well i don't really want to get a fish because i don't particularly like having a pet fish but anyway i guess all i can do is i guess keep doing as i'm doing and try and avoid avoidance avoidance is the best thing when you have allergies and asthma and stuff like that well not so much asthma but allergies um and he didn't really tell me to get rid of maddie but um he said look avoidance is the best key to get on top of all of this so yeah i guess that's the end of my pet mum career <laughs> or pet mining whatever but yeah i don't think i have too much more to say if you are sort of a little bit stressed or in a similar situation um as i said the best bit is just to avoid the stimulant or whatever is making you sick and coughing and stuff like that and to get i guess on some sort of management plan so um yeah as i might have said in the previous section my general gp was a little bit reluctant to give me a higher dose puffer but when i spoke to this guy he said look i'll give you five repeats um if you get these tests done and then come back and see me in the new year and we'll see what you know we can do and if you need to be on that long term we'll discuss it then so um i was quite happy about that because that this puffer actually works compared to the other one that stopped working but anyway that's all i say guys um thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye